Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Anyone with experience chasing largemouth will agree they can be a moody fish at times. Despite your best efforts, they simply turn you down over and over. Then, for reasons known only to them, suddenly take hold and eat your bait. Turning things around during a tough bite is never easy. Knowledgeable anglers add their own special touch to each and every presentation. That little extra shimmy, bounce, or vibration can make a big difference. From our own underwater studies, we've learned there's a narrow line between success and failure. Watch how we trigger this particular fish into hitting. Tournament anglers in the money have literally fine-tuned this to an art form. Studying these guys, it could be so subtle you may not pick up on it. Another factor is that individual largemouth have a changeable but very specific strike zone. That is, the maximum distance they're willing to move to take bait. Depending on weather patterns and other factors, that can range from 10 feet to a few inches during a downtime. It's essential to be within that range to initiate a strike. That's why it's so important to spend time thoroughly picking apart every corner of a potential spot. That said, and just when you think you've got largemouth figured out, they prove you wrong again. Guess that's what makes them so challenging and special. More than anything else, weather is the biggest factor to make or break any day on the water. What angler hasn't cringed at a menacing storm system, signaling the approach of a dreaded cold front? Then, as the skies cleared to that flawless blue jay color, everything simply shut down. It's a fact that all fish are affected by cold fronts, some more than others, none more so than largemouth bass. Before that storm rolled in, the fishing was likely spectacular. Next day, you wouldn't believe it was the same lake. Even so, it's contradictory to the fact that some of the biggest largemouth out there have been taken under these very conditions, and on a day when few, if any, other bass were taken. Why this happens isn't clearly understood. Perhaps it's the sheer bulk of top-end fish that requires they take in more food. Or it could be the lack of competition from smaller bass. One thing is certain, largemouth hold tight to cover and they won't move far, if at all, to take food. It can be just this bad. You basically have to land it on their noses to elicit a strike. This demands an ultra-slow approach, working deep into heavy cover. Now that's one way of turning a lousy cold front into a memorable day.